All right. So, basically, you know, I'm I'm just your average person. I mean, I'm not really that intelligent. I mean, I may, I might be a little bit above average or something like that, but but basically any anybody who can Facebook or email, I mean, anybody that can that can make a phone call on a flip phone could probably do this. It's not that tough. There's tutorials online, and they actually, uh, that's how, that's all I did is I just, I just, if I, did, if I couldn't figure something out, I searched, like, like, the first thing that I searched with my six dollars in my bank account, no joke, that's all I had left, and then I had, like, probably 40 bucks cash, no joke, and there was nothing else, I was going to invest in something not Bitcoin related, actually, I, I, I didn't necessarily... It was just the cheapest investment, and then I found a Burst Casino, uh, which is pretty cool, and I watched tutorials on, on, I just happened to run into a, a mathematical slash skill type tutorial on how to earn income, definitely risky, but not really quite gambling, not, not, didn't feel like near as much gambling as is actually going out and driving for Uber, for goodness sakes. Because I could go out there and lose a lot of money. Uh, well, not a lot of money, but, you know, I could go out and literally lose some money there. And so the $6 ended up being a total loss because it was too small of an amount, uh, which I knew ahead of time that it, that was too risky. But, you know, I just, that was what I had to do, and I wasn't going to, going to work for a couple days, so that's what I did, and I learned the process. Then I had 10 bucks left in my account, uh, because I planned it that way, and and from that $10 then, and then a total of $21, including the six of a total loss, so $15 that was still there, minus some f transfer fees and whatnot, I was actually able to use this Adam Garba, Gar Gar uh, Gerbaz, I think, something like that. Uh, really cool guy on YouTube. Look up his videos. I'll try to figure out how to put links in my descriptions. I have them. Actually, I can't edit them uh, on my phone. I can't figure it out, but I'll figure it out. And, and oh, awesome. Worked great. Were his methods. I, I won't even go into them, but worked great. It was a variation of his 420 method. Uh on Burst Casino because my my equipment wasn't as good and yeah that's part of it too you got to have good equipment and a good reaction time and all this but but so <clears throat> that that's just my little story here and it keeps going for a bit uh, so from Burst Casino I was able to put, I was able to make sixty dollars and stash some of that in a Burst Coin account uh, wallet. Uh, and my equipment wasn't good enough to do the off offline wallet, but they had a deal where you can still do an online wallet. And uh, I'm, I'm driving and taking in the views here, so that's definitely why I'm distracted, but I'm gonna try to see how this turns out. Uh, so, so, that, so I had $60 and I probably, I don't know how much I left in the burst wallet, but a few, I think I left like a few hundred uh, burst coin, like 10% of what I had at the time, and if I would have just held on to all those and then sold it when it was at the high, because I was doing this while burst was going from 100 satoshis, 130 or so, to 900 plus satoshis, and so that was a 9x return, and I was trading back and forth, so then I started, I went to, I, I had to be on a trading account to buy the burst coin and, and then send them to the casino in the first place. And that's a whole different story. And there's tutorials on all that. And that's how I did it. How to buy Bitcoin, how to, tra how to uh, buy burst, I think is what I did. And then, okay, you take your Bitcoin and then you go here is basically what it said. And it's like, well, okay, well, how to buy Bitcoin then? And so I just kept backing up, and that's how I learned how to do it. And now it's pretty easy. It's way easier than any other type of money stuff, except for maybe 
Well, it's actually probably easier than cash, to be honest with you, because because you don't have to do math. Uh, so I don't know. I I I love crypto actually, and it's going to change the world. I don't see how. I mean, the genie's out of the bottle. There's no way you can put it back in. Basically, it's going to in the next. Uh, I'd say in the next two to twenty years, uh, the world will be much better because you can't stop critical mass. You can't put the genie back in the bottle, so to say. I don't know if you got those couple of sleds there, but uh, anyway. And hopefully, hopefully you're not just seeing my steering wheel. It's kind of tricky here, but anyway. Yeah, it's 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 getting to critical mass on the awakening as far as all of the corruption in hierarchy, in government, in uh, just control freak. Uh, I got to come up with a term that's that's not quite so <laughs> like I put it in the other video. A little bit cleaner for uh, basically stuff that my my niece and nephew uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not basically uh, I don't know I'm not really ashamed to talk that way because a lot of people do and and yeah that was pretty harsh to say what I did really about about the fruit loops that that uh, think they own us and everything else in the freaking universe I mean for God's sakes, to put something in outer space in orbit, a satellite, you've got to pay rent from the gosh darn United States government. I mean, I mean basically look it up. That's that's pretty much what it is. It's an annual fee, I'm pretty sure. And to, to own land, I mean, anything, it's it's ridiculous. Like, who, who do these people think they are? Really? Like, they have no right. So decentralized, decentralization and, and, and blockchain, basically, is uh, and part of the problem here on the video is I've got my, my charger plugged in. But anyway, decentralization is the way to go. They, that's a true democracy. And yeah, 51% still can control the 49%. But, and that's part, partly what's wrong with Bitcoin right now. There's high transaction fees and slow times because the control freaks who have billions of dollars have figured it out. But there's so many other cryptos out there that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's pretty much impossible to control everything. I'm figuring out where I got to go. Yeah, I got to go a ways here. Yeah, you know they can't control all the decentralized stuff. There, there's, there's currencies that can't be tracked, like Monero, and different ones. And there's different ones that have different purposes that are basically sort of copies of of Bitcoin or Ethereum, which is another one. Or they're kind of Ethereum was didn't really have a specific purpose it's a general thing where you can basically build off of it real easy uh, where, the, where the more average person but still sort of technical minded like it's probably over my head but uh, but it wouldn't be if I dove into it for 40 to 100 to a few hundred hours I mean really that's what, I, what, what I've learned in life Good lesson here to end the, the the part two, and I might come back with a part three. I mean, I'll come back with a part three thousand probably. But anyway, uh, <coughs> overall, I mean, you get the picture. I don't know if you can see those beautiful snow-capped peaks over there on a bigger screen. So I'm gonna have to definitely complete that thought in another video. And end this because I don't know my time limit. Tell me what my time limit is here because YouTube jacked me and they it's either 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, I'll be right back.